Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hi. So I'm in Bangalore, and for the past couple of days, it has been raining continuously. This is the monsoon season. What do you expect? Now, if I check my phone and the weather app, for the next couple of days, I can just see thunderstorms. Now, this is when I remember for a very long time ago when the meteorological department or the weather forecasting system was not very advanced. People had a very unusual way to predict that there is a storm coming. And in today's video, I want to focus on those optical phenomena. Has it ever happened to you that you go out at night and see a light ring around the moon? This is called as a moon halo, and it's said that if you see such a thing in the sky, it means that there is a good probability that it is going to rain in the next 24 hours. And it's not just around the moon. You can see these around the sun also. The difference is the ring is just colored. Inside it is bright distinctive red and as you move out it gets a little blurry. Now this one is called as a sun halo. And apart from halos there is one more phenomena which is equally amazing. Although it is not related to storms or rains or thunder but still it's good. These are light pillars. And the name says it all right. They look like pillars of light reaching from the ground to the sky. So what is going on? What are these optical phenomena? So if you really want to learn the science behind these light pillars, sun dogs or halos, watch the video till the end. In this video, I am going to talk all about halos, be it a sun halo or a moon halo. But if you want to learn about light pillars, I want you to watch this video made by Ankur. The link is in the description. He has explained this concept very well. So just go and watch it. So before we even start understanding what is a halo, we need to go through a very basic property of light. That is the bending of light. And I know you have a word for it. That is refraction. So what is refraction? Refraction is the bending of light when it travels through a medium of different density. To really make you understand this, I am going to do an experiment. We know that light travels in a straight line. But in this experiment, if you see, the light ray bends when it strikes the surface of glass full of water. When it is in between, there is no bending. But at an angle, it bends. And when it travels out, it bends again. So basically, when light is traveling in a rarer medium, and it strikes the surface of a denser medium, its speed is decreased. And as a result, it bends. It bends towards the normal. And same thing happens again. If it is traveling from a denser medium to a rarer medium, its speed is increased. And as a result, it bends away from the normal. So this is what is refraction. Now if you notice, the laser had just one color, the green color. But is light just a one color? No, it's not. Light is composed of seven different colors and all these seven colors have different wavelength. And all these seven different wavelength, they combine and form sunlight. So this here is a Newton's disk. A fancy name, but basically all the colors you see in a rainbow, they are here. But the most amazing thing happens when you spin it really fast. All those colors disappear and the disk looks white. And this shows that the white light, basically the sunlight that you see, is actually a composition of all those seven colors that we were talking about. So now you understand that sunlight is not just a single color. It is made up of seven different colors. And all these seven colors have different wavelength. I'm going to show you when these colors split up. Look here. When white light strikes this left surface of this glass prism, it tries to refract. But the problem is that all these seven colors do not refract equally. They have unequal bending and because of that, they split up. This phenomena is called as dispersion of light. And yes, this is the reason that you see different different colors in the sky be it a rainbow or a halo. Is there a prism in the sky? But 
there should be something which causes the dispersion right you see a rainbow or you see a halo they all have colors with them and only prism can do that right what if i tell you there is a kind of prism in the sky these are the cirrus clouds there are 10 wispy strands giving them its name cirrus meaning curling lock of hair in latin now these clouds can form at altitudes close to 10000 meters in the sky and their speciality is they are completely made up of ice crystals and these ice crystals are the ones which gives you all the colors that you are looking for they behave like prism in the sky the ice crystals inside a cirrus cloud behave like hexagonal prisms so when sun rays come to them they refract and refraction is not equal for all the colors this is what we know the red refracts the least whereas colors with lower wavelength they refract more and because of that they split this is what we call as dispersion now if a person is looking from this side what he sees is a virtual image and because of this virtual image what happens is he sees a halo in this halo it appears to him that the red color is inside it and that is why we see halos so in fact yes there are prisms in the sky now we have answered everything we have answered what is a halo we have answered how they are formed but there is one question which is still remaining why do they bring rain halos can only form when there are cirrus clouds in the sky and cirrus clouds only arrive before a tropical cyclone which means if you see cirrus clouds then the weather conditions are soon going to deteriorate this makes the relation very simple a halo in a sky means there is going to be rain soon hello everyone so if you have really enjoyed the video press the like button and share it with your friends and family if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon for more such videos thank you